In this video, we will talk about the problem trialing zeros in the factorial of a number n. So, what is meant by this trialing zeros? Trialing zeros are nothing but the zeros that are present at the last of a given number. So, in the question, we need to find out the trialing zeros at the factorial of a given number. So, consider that our given number is 5 and then we will be having that 5 factorial as 120 and the number of trialing zeros is 120 is only 1. Suppose consider the number 10 factorial which is the given number here and we can clearly observe that there are only 2 trialing zeros at the end of this. So the answer will be 2. So the given problem asks us to find out a algorithm which has to find out the trialing zeros in the factorial of the given number. So we can solve it by general or naive method. So in the general method the procedure we follow is having two steps. In the step 1 we will be finding out the factorial of a given number and in the step 2 we will be counting the number of zeros at the end of that given number. So it will be an easy method. Let's observe the steps in that. So for finding out the factorial of a given number I have written n function here. It will be taking the n which is the given number as the input and if n is 1 or 0 it will be returning 1. So there is a small typo here I will be correcting and uploading the code in the comment you can see there. So otherwise if the number is other than 1 then we can clearly observe that the factorial of the number n will be equal to the product of all the numbers starting from 2 to that number. So we can clearly get the factorial of the number from this part of the code. It will be clear. Suppose so finally we have got the factorial and now our present task is to find out the trialing zeros at the end of it. Let's do it now. Consider the step 2 which is finding out the trialing zeros at the end of it. The procedure we will follow is suppose the number is 1, 2, 0, 0. The procedure we will follow is dividing this by 10 each time. So if we divide this by 10 for the first time, the remainder will be 0. And we can observe that it is exactly as the remainder is 0, it is exactly divisible by 10. So we can add 1. 0 to our result and the remaining number is 120 we can now again divide it by 10 and we can add uh, and we can observe that the remainder is 0 so we can clearly add another 1 to our result so we can observe that we have got two zeros as trailing zeros and the remaining number is 12 if we try to divide it by 10 we will not be getting the reminder as 0. So we can stop the loop here and we will come out of this while loop and we can clearly return the count. So doing this method first we will find out the factorial and then we will find out the trialing zeros at the last. The procedure is seems to be easy but when we consider there are two problems here mainly. When we consider the time complexity we can clearly observe from this loop that for finding the factorial of a given number we have to traverse the whole almost whole numbers which till the n so the order will be order of n it will be the time complexity and for this counting also it may maximum take up to n steps so we can consider that the overall time complexity of this Procedure of solving the given problem is order of n. So this is the first problem that is we are having the order of n as the time complexity. When coming to the second problem, the second problem is that suppose I have given a number 20 and we need to find out the number of trailing zeros in the 20 factorial. It will be a big task because the 20 factorial will be out of the range of integer which our machine is designed for. So we will get some random kind of answer for that. I will show you by executing my code later. So the second problem is that it is overflowing.
so we have to overcome these two problems in order to overcome these two problems we have designed an much more better approach which is the optimized code so look let's look at the optimized solution here uh, yeah just look at the optimized solution so suppose we have a number as 12 and we need to find out the trailing zeros in it which is 12 factorial this gives the 12 factorial and we may and we are clearly known that if a number is having 10 at the last which is i mean if it is having 0 at the last then there must be definitely a combination of 2 and 5 product inside the number so if we observe that here we have 2 and we are we have a, we are having a 5 and we can consider this 10 as a product of 2 and 5 so we can clearly observe that here there are two fives and we are definitely sure that the number of twos will always be greater than the number of fives so no need of talking about twos just we can talk about the fives as two will always be more than in number than fives so you can observe that two is here and in four there is a two in six there is a two in eight there is a two in 12 there is a 2 but only 5 is appearing 2 times and because of the because of the reason that only 2 and 5's combination will give the result 0 at the trailing end we can clearly know that by counting the number of 5's in this we can tell the number of zeros which are at the trailing position so as there are 2 5's 1 at 5 and 1 in 10 we can clearly say by looking at this that we are having only two trailing zeros at the end of this 12 factorial now consider the number 15 factorial so you can observe that there is a 5 here and in this 10 there is a combination like 2 cross 5 and here in these 15 there is a combination 3 cross 5 so you can clearly observe that there are three fives and more than three number of twos as only both 5 and 2 can yield the result as 0 you can ignore this 2 and you can directly count this 5 as I have said earlier and we can clearly state that there are 3 trialing zeros at the end of this result so you may be getting the idea that if there is a number n then we can find out the number of trialing zeros in it uh, in the factorial of this by clearly counting the number of fives in the number till the number n so suppose we are having the number as 15 factorial and we want to find out the number of trailing zeros in it then we can clearly note that the number of fives in this number 15 factorial so and it can be done by finding out number of fives in the number n so here the number max is 15 and by doing 15 by 3 we can get the result as 3 which gives us there will be 3 fives in the common in the 15 factorial so the easy solution will be n by 5 so we will be having n by 5 number of zeros as trialing position so this is okay now consider the number 25 tell me the answer now you may think that there is a 5 here and there is a 5 here there will be a 5 inside the 15 there will be a 5 inside the 20 so we got 4 5 still now and 1 5 is here so you may think that there will be 5 zeros at the end of the 25 factorial but you have to observe here one more thing that here it is not only having single 5 it is having two fives as 5 cross 5 as there are more than enough twos here one two may probably combine with the another left one five and we can it may add another zero to the it will definitely add another zero at the trailing position so the thing is that we should not consider only and we should not only see the n by five we have to consider that n by 25 also so number of 25's so the number of 25's in the number and the number of 5's in the given number 
so the number so considering the number 25 factorial the number of 5s here is 5 and the number of 25s are 1 so we will be getting that there will be 6 zeros at the trailing position suppose the number is 125 and you may clearly look that the number of trailing zeros will be n by 5 plus n by 25 plus n by 125 because the n suppose consider the number 125 it can be written as 5 cube so one of the 5 will be from this and another 5 will be from this and the remaining will be from this so i think you have got what i am trying to convince so now let me show you the code so here clearly you can observe that we are uh, just a minute clearly we can know that suppose we are having the number n then we have to decide whether we can go as n by 5 or n by 25 or n by 125 we have to know till which 5 to the power k we have to move on so for deciding that one we have to consider the number n as if the number is 126 we will be crossing 125 if the number is 24 we will be only crossing 5 and even 25 we are not crossing so we need not do n by 25 we can only consider n by 5 and here if the n is 126 then we have to consider n by 25 n by 5 and n by 125 so i think you have got it now if you look at this code it is stating that we will start with 5 and we will increase the i in terms uh, just look at this statement mainly count is equal to count plus n by i n by i is nothing but in the first case i is 5 so suppose the number is 9 factorial here n will be 9 and i will be 5 so 9 by 5 will give the remainder as 4 and you can clearly observe that if the number n is 9 and n by 5 will be giving 1 so we have crossed only 1 5 here and in the next iteration this i will become 25 and we can observe that this 25 is bigger than the number n so we are not crossing 25 in our problem so we can clearly exit the loop and we can simply state the count as 1 so 9 factorial is having only 1 0 as trailing position so using this code we can find out the trailing zeros at the end position and if you observe clearly that this code is having lesser time complexity than the previous naive solution the naive solution is having the time complexity is order of n but here if you observe that the time complexity is not order of n it is log of n we need not consider base and if we consider the base also it will be log n to the base 5 so we have approached at a best optimized solution